So welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. You know, I told myself I was only going to be recording this game like once a week just because like four or five years ago we played it, we beat it. But I woke up today, man, and I just, I wanted to keep playing. I miss the boys and I most definitely miss Arthur, but this is not Red Dead Redemption 2. This is Red Dead Redemption 1. And we've got to complete our boy John Marson's story. Now, I think today, I'm not sure if we'll be able to head to Mexico, considering this game is not the shortest of them all. Um, it's not the longest. It's about 10 hours or so. Uh, but I'll try. Okay, I will try. Now, I think our stories are coming closer to an end for West Dickens. Uh, not fully, though. But we also have Irish, which is a very intriguing character that we have yet to meet and i think that's what we're gonna do to start off today's Whoa. episode you guys remember irish is being uh <laughs> tortured and possibly about to be killed here we go a frenchman a welshman and an irishman Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving me cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern <laughs> you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. With a sing-song. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Just leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. I ain't gonna take one. Come on, boys. <laughs> Not bad. Not Mr. Bad. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. <clears throat> It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. That's right, the huge freaking machine gun. That's right. Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. I love the diversity of characters in this game. They're like, it really is crazy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thickest thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are hoarded up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Well, that turned sour real quick. <laughs> Whoa. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. 
All right, let's do this. We're about to search the cabin and steal the goods. Yeah, that's right. Let's Wait, go, welcome, boys. Here, Move along. Oh, you ought to shoot your trap. I'll even shoot the eagle too, you know why? I couldn't get the eagle. I'm sorry, damn it. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I think I killed almost all of them. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's all of them. Unless somebody else wants to come out and play. Forgive me, friend. Because I ain't in the playing mood right now, you know what I'm saying? Let me add a little bit of insult to injury by looting the guys I just killed in cold blood. Loot the body, John. Did it loot? Didn't get the animation. Oh well. That's Dad, fine. You oh, you are a church your trap. Oh, you want some more? Huh? Yeah, I thought so. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Hmm. He lied to me. Damn, I forgot he lied to me. Wow. Damn, dude, this game is fucking gorgeous. All right. Come on, easy up now. Benedict points. He should be inside over here. I think there's a side mission. I think per perhaps a stranger mission here as well. Where are you? Oh, who do you hunt? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much you means to me, how special you is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe. Isn't mm. isn't as can be. <clears throat> <clears throat> And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a feller to give up easily, are you? I love how the music always plays in the background, you know? I really like that. I feel like it adds so much to this game. And some games don't do that. Some games don't play music. Uh, as often as this game does, but older games did. Yeah. Right, hopefully he's got the Gatling yeah. gun oh, this time around. Me, Flora, the lily of the West. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as red. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and medley. Well. You're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. Or sell it. I don't know. Never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. 
I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. <laughs> Maybe if you were more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gaff Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Stop, damn it. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. That's very true. How are we supposed to move that by ourselves? <laughs> The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. You can use data to take out multiple targets quickly. Enter data. Easy peasy, man. Who else wants some? Who else wants some, huh? Come here, come here, come here. You ain't going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Yeah. Here we go. Open! Hell yeah. <laughs> killed the man, stole his horse. Now I kill his other boys. How about them apples? That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me get these two guys up here. Oh. This actually might not be a good idea considering uh Fast-moving target. You're still alive, bro. Hello, friend. Oh, damn! Go on to the next one. Go home, buddy. Let's go, boys. This <laughs> a savage. <coughs> Excuse me. That's gotta be some most, some of the most disrespectful shit you could do to someone. You kill him, take his horse, and then kill everybody else. That's 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 pretty badass. Arthur Morgan would be proud. Uh, just making sure there's nothing here I'm missing. You never know. I could have blown that up. I, I, I thought that was uh, an explosive crate. Let me go over to the repeater here. And uh, repeater carbine. Sure, why not? Look for the Gatling gun. Ooh, it's getting spicy. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> That's right. Burn to hell. Anybody else want some? Gotta be careful here with this guy's fucking shooting the TNT on me. Ooh, damn. Right in the face. I need to get out of here. Man, we I feel like we need more Wild West games. Like they're so fun. Like a piece in history that we don't explore enough. I should say a piece of history. Come on. That's right. Right in the dome. I don't know what's up here. Is there anything here at all? 
Not really. No, no. John, damn it! Go this way. Yeah, just, just jump down. Ow! I don't know what that was. Damn. And just for safety measures. That was probably a bad idea. Probably a little bit too close. A little too close there. I'm gonna reload this up. Looks like at the end we're gonna have a party. something cool. Fuck. Hold on. Calm it down. Calm it down. I'm here to do this in style. Let me let me loot the body. Hold up. If it ain't me, it's nice. someone else. Actually, I'd rather loot the body without the animation. It's fucking genius. Too cocky now, John. Grab on to the mine carts. Push the mine cart. to the dryer weapon. Wait, what? Am I on the wrong side of the... Oh, I'm pushing it the wrong way. Okay, I figured. This way? Is it this way? Am I supposed to push it? Was it was it not the other way? Oh my god, if I push it all the way over here and it's not here, I'm gonna be so depressed. Onto the minecart. Okay, hold on. Push the minecart to the bottom of the hill. What are you doing here, man? It's gonna take more than one of you, partner. <laughs> Let's go, boys. What am I doing? Now? Mission was fucking awesome. Let's 
Let's go, baby. Nearly there, Charlie Boy! He actually came through for us, so. Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. <clears throat> New weaponry is available at the local gunsmith. Spend your hard earned dollars on increased firepower. You know, when I see movies like this, or games like this, or movies back in the days, I can't help but to think that it's its only been roughly a hundred years. How far we've come is fucking crazy to me. Also, I also think about what did people do back then when they had, like, injuries. Like, imagine... Two, three hundred years ago, you know, you know, a bit more than this is. What if, like, let's say somebody's carrying something like what John was doing right now, they get a hernia. I had, I had hernia surgery, so that's like traumatizing for me. So I always wonder, like, how would the surgery be? What if there's any complications, like shit like that that makes no sense? I just think about, and it drives me insane. Life must have been so damn hard. But then again, men and women were probably much harder than, than we are now. So I guess it balances out. Let's go. We're breaking barrier here. We're going somewhere completely different, completely new, finally. And shit's about to go down. Shit is about to go down. The thieves landing. This is a brand new spot. Finally, this is so cool. Hey. Hey there, man. How you doing? We can buy a house there. That'd be cool. I think that would be a perfect idea. You know what? I'm going to buy that house right, right over there. Should we buy that house? How much is that house? I don't know how often we'll, we'll come over here. At least I don't remember. But I figured having a property here and there would be good. Oh, they're kidnapping that lady. Man, they were kidnapping a woman! There, I bought the house. Fine, fine, fine! Stop the fucking screaming. There's nothing going on here. Sheesh. All right bought the house i don't know i thought shooting that man from a from 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 a, from a good distance would have been a good idea but apparently it wasn't i completely forgot about this spot this is super cool here I'm just no good son of a <laughs> in shaky's oh, ground sister put them up irish what are you doing who the hell are you give me that I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, <laughs> blimey! And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, 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 oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Uh, Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. 
I know where we can find uh, the parts for you. Ugh. Mother fucking Mary. <laughs> How about a drink or two, mister? I already got myself a woman, miss. No need to hurt me. Come on. What you looking at? What you looking at? Get out of here. Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Jesus oh, Christ, I woman. My prison fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Look, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk, before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Where are we going, Irish? Don't go get no. Just to the warehouse here Stop in Thieves Landing. Us. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set twice, up. We're meeting this palafine at the back door there, of the man. office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. <clears throat> the music. This is it. <sighs> Come on, Smiler. Stuttering bastard said this would be open. <clears throat> oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I was just going to climb through the top. I think these dudes over here are robbing that man or something. I don't know. I was kind of overhearing the... Uh... You're starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Maybe I was mistaken. Sneaking around the back. What could possibly go wrong? Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Come on, man, move that ass. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shite. Sounds like Shake is only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. <clears throat> you hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an old time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that shaky. <laughs> All right, it's go time. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Climb the ladders. All right, walk slowly or crouch to avoid detection. Okay. Sneak in through the window. Hey, you hear that? Oh shit. So sneak around. Everything's gonna be just fine. Oh. Rescue Shaky. Why don't we just kill these assholes? Got a crossbow in this game would have been nice, or like a bow and arrow, just a regular bow and arrow. Turn on me. <laughs> he didn't even see me. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. That's it. No more.
more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh shit, they're all upstairs. Fuck. That's it. Come on. Get these ropes off me before they come back. I don't even have to use that eye. Thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. Shit. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Here we go. All right, let's get out of here while we got the chance. Okay, hold on. I can't, I can't pinpoint the TNT. Alright, that worked. I'll take you, y'all, y'all on. <laughs> There's only one guy left. Be a walk in the park. Suckers. Want some more, bro? The door. Follow me. Someone might as well have this. The door. I got, got you covered. Oh, the gate's on the other side. Come on, get this door open. It's about to get crazy in here. Let's go, baby. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, hold on. You can beat me. Now this is getting ugly. Get out of here! All of you! Where are they? That's another one. Ah, Shaky out here shooting some some shots. I like it. All right, follow Shaggy to the machine gun ammo. All right, follow me. Look out! More of them bastards! You got a problem with me? But these guys are like, when you think about what John's been through, these guys ain't shit. It's like four guys at a time. Shit, shit, nail. Should have seen what me and my boys did back in the days. <laughs> now that was some shit. Yeah. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to they calm They look like brothers. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f f f f fucking snake. Uh, b b b b b All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Come on then, Johnny boy. Let's go. This is a bad place to be idle, Alan. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gonna drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just a glory like you. There they come. You better run out of bullets and keep on like that. Damn, I knew they wouldn't give up that easy. Hold them off, Johnny. I'll get you back to the Carolyn. You best shoot me now, or this is over! Is that it? I don't like this match. Be heart beating like a bloody drum. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Get that feather on the bridge. <laughs> I don't know if I can take much more of this. They're shooting right at me. You're a real cold-blooded killer, Irish. 
Come on, oh my God, the way you go back was hilarious. Guys, somebody wants that ammunition. Will you crash? Do you want to die? Anytime you want to shoot something, take your life. How many are there? I really enjoy just locking in and shooting it versus the dead eye. I don't know why. Obviously, dead eye is important in certain scenarios. Hell of a team, me and you. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for part master. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> what am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. <laughs> what a guy. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. So cool. You're now someone known around the frontier. Now it costs you significantly less to convince officers of the law to turn a blind eye. That's pretty cool. We've got a general store here as well. We, I don't think we've been here yet. What do we got here? That's true. Hey, partner. I hope you see something you need. Snake oil. 500 bucks. Shit. Sure. Let's see what you got. Horse meat, horse hide. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Yeah, not really. Sorry to disappoint. You know where we are next time you need something. So right now we're we're headed back to Mr. Dickens over here. And I think once we finish off the mission with him, whether it's this one or one more after, I don't really recall. Then possibly then we'll head over to take over. Bill Williamson. Let's see what happens here. That was pretty cool. Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. If, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. Mm. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> what a guy, dude. What a guy. So mingle with the crowd until the show starts. There we go. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer <laughs> from rheumatism, lumbago, acute 
chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain, well, I, I think every time this happens, we upgrade our dead eyes. The genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Chose Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that beast. <laughs> now I'm part of the, the fraud the squad. Looking down on me. <laughs> oh my god. How about us, the patron saint of businessmen? I'd say he's being just to serve those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit off people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robin Banks felt more honest than this.
wild horses over there. Very nice. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Alright, so we're still waiting on Mr. West Dickens over here. Um, I don't have any other... Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's the only one we got left. The sport of kings and liars. One more race, perhaps? Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? Uh, never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Another race. Isn't Follow it? me, John. It's not too far to Ratskeller Park. I think this one's gonna be with a horse. Um Come on. rather than the uh, carriage. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful in Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Reach. Find you. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Bill Williamson, and then have, I think after it's what, uh, Javier Escola. There's Escobar Fork up ahead. Boys, damn it. I'm dying to see the freaking like the scene with Bill and, 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 and John here. Let's go. Whoa there. Come on, man. Let's go. How do you do? Sorry, ma'am. Gentlemen, hmm. this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to 
unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Of yeah. course my horse wouldn't go anywhere. That's just great. I have to finish the, the race in first place. Nice job, Mr. You got this. Let's see what you're made of. Holding off on the stamina here. But any second now, we're gonna go. We're gonna. We're gonna burst right through these nerds. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Rathskeller Fork. That's it. I think that's it. Now we head over to, yeah, well, the final mission. All right. This might just be it, boys. Yep, the assaults on Fort Mercer. Oh, shit. Hmm. Damn, bro. John. Marshal. Gentlemen. 
This this hits harder when you play the first one and you see John now is against one of his old boys. He's got a whole new squad. It's time. Not the deadliest of squads, what? but what's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, <laughs> he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, <clears throat> when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which one went out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Hmm. Here we go. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on. Let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. A moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Hmm, look what it is. Hey there! <laughs> come on in! Come on in! Welcome to my humble abode! <laughs> come on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a <laughs> Over there! 
pretty that was not pretty i thought i was gonna die for a second everything was starting to go dark and there's the marshal just like the police always the arrive at the fucking end them cock sucking some bitches escape the other side of the fort all right let's go come on let's go all right well it's not the end just yet what then the boys hell? what the hell all right clear the fort of enemies with marshal johnson oh it's go time all right Winchester repeater. I my work here is done. I'll <laughs> see, gentlemen. I <laughs> bid you pass. See what there. an ass. Come here, Bill. No, I need the repeater. We're going to Come on, boys. It's go time. There's going to be Bill a lot of Oh, my Show God. Show yourself. There's more of them! Bill Seth is out here Devil. whooping some oh. ass. I love it! No, no, no! Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Oh, no, right here. You, wait, you are? Oh shit. Hold on. Damn, I thought I would be able to blow up the TNT from here. Apparently not. We're gonna move forward, cross the bridge. Here we go. You guys are done for. Dude, I would love to play this on a remake, dude. I think that's fucked up, boys. That would be awesome. Come on, let's regroup. We actually visited Fort Mercer, I think, in RDR2. Um, after we beat the game, we made a video on it. And um, it looked awesome. I would love to experience the story with those graphics. Making sure there's nobody in here. Ow! Oh shit! My head! <laughs> That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey! It's the snake oil guy! Caroline, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got a sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen! These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way! Oh, my good lord above! There must be a hundred of them! Oh, God. Oh shit. That's fucking right. That's fucking right. Mexico yesterday morning. You'll never forget him. That's right. Javier Escuela. 
He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! Where in Mexico, you little shit? What's up with John's face, though? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. <laughs> Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Damn, I thought we were going to kill him here. I forgot he left. Wow. Shit. I completely forgot. I honestly thought we were going to kill him here. I mean, it's been four years. Shit. All right. Well, we have to head over to Irish. So, it doesn't hurt to pick up ammo, though. And get this horse that appears to be... All right, so I think we're going to call it quits here. I, I really thought we were going to get into Mexico within this episode. And for some reason, I really thought as well that Bill Williamson was going to be in Fort Mercer. I don't know why I completely, completely miscalculated that. But we've got good things coming into the future of the story for this game. We still got Bill Williamson. That's going to be fun. We've got Javier Escuela. And we've got Mexico, which is going to be really, really interesting to see the interactions with these characters. In the, in the episodes to come and of course then we're gonna have dutch which i cannot wait to see the dialogue and back and forth between the two so exciting times ahead thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to see more red dead redemption one asap drop the video a like that lets me know that hey you want to see more and uh thanks for watching i'll catch you later